Hi everyone, Neil from Modo here and in this episode of the Energy Academy I'm going to be discussing the market that determines which new generators get built, the capacity market. To start off, the capacity market is essentially just an insurance policy against potential blackouts. It's a mechanism that should ensure that we always have enough electricity to meet demand. This is necessary as we become more reliant on intermittent technologies like wind and solar, and especially during times of severe system stresses like extreme cold snaps. In simple terms, the capacity market allows both existing and new build generators to compete for contracts at auction. These contracts are between one and 15 years long. They pay assets not for the electricity that they deliver, but for the availability to provide capacity at times of potential peak demand, usually in winter. Bidders must forecast how much revenue they can earn without a capacity market contract, and then bid into the capacity market at the desired price to top up that revenue to make their project feasible. If a generator wins a capacity market contract, it's paid to ensure that it can turn up generation at times of potential system stress events at just four hours notice. These four hour warnings are called capacity market notices. Those system stress events when generators actually have to kick into gear and provide the capacity are known as capacity market events. So far, there hasn't ever been a capacity market event in Great Britain, but there have been numerous capacity market notices issued. Unless there is a capacity market event, participating assets will just continue to operate as normal. The first capacity market auction took place in 2014. Each year, there are two capacity market auctions called the T-4 and the T-1 auctions. The numbers here just refer to the amount of years ahead of schedule that the capacity is being obtained for. Therefore, the T-4 auction is for delivery four years later, and the T-1 auction is for delivery the following winter. So, the first T-4 auction that took place in 2014 was actually for delivery in the winter of 2018-2019. In every sense, the T-4 auction is the main capacity market auction. It has the longest contracts and the most volume. It's open to bidding from both new and existing generators. In the T-4 auction, new build generators are able to win 15-year contracts. For developers looking to build new generation projects in the next few years, this sort of revenue security makes those projects far more appealing to investors. In fact, Quite often, being able to build the generator at all is reliant upon winning the capacity market contract. Because of this, you could say that the capacity market essentially determines the makeup of Great Britain's generation stack. If you don't know what I mean by the generation stack, please head back to series two to get a fuller picture. Anyway, if capacity market contracts only went to one type of generator, our generation stack would be limited. Therefore, the aim is to encourage the development of a number of different dispatchable technologies. What does dispatchable mean? I just mean generators that can be turned on and off relatively easily, like battery energy storage, pumped hydro to additional power stations, nuclear, interconnectors, that sort of thing. Like I said, these types of generators often rely on capacity market contracts to fund their development. Non-dispatchable technologies like wind and solar have their own support schemes and subsidies. Anyway, all of the dispatchable technologies that can enter the capacity market are subject to what's called a derating factor. This derating factor is used to level the playing field between different types of assets. Essentially, the amount that an asset gets paid for participating is linked to the likelihood that they'll be able to reliably provide their contractually agreed capacity for a set period of time. Therefore, storage assets like batteries are derated based on their duration. This means that shorter duration storage assets are going to be paid less than, say, open cycle gas turbines, which can run indefinitely. To round out the picture, the T-1 auctions act as top-up auctions that take place just ahead of the delivery year. These T-1 auctions ensure that the ESO has got enough capacity to safely get us through the following winter. 
So, now you know how the capacity market works and why we say it helps to determine Great Britain's generation stack. It's time to explore how those generators make money. In the next episode, I'll explain how forward and futures markets work. These are the markets through which the vast, vast majority of electricity is bought and sold. I'll see you there.